tiny champs, it's Mr. Austin here at Premier Martial Arts Aurora. Let's get started with our first lesson. Now, if you're new to our training program today, we always start off with our black belt focus. So let me teach you guys how to start off. We're going to take our hands, we're going to put them above our head, making an X, and we're going to say black. Then we'll put our arms out to the sides, nice and strong, we'll say belt. Then we'll put our arms behind our back, cross them over the top of each other, and say, focus. Now, let's do this together. I want to hear you guys through the screen. Let's shout out black first. Ready? Black. Now we'll say belt. Belt. And arms behind our back, focus. Very nice. Now, let's pull our feet together and go to a strong set stance. Ready? Feet together, set. Oh, come on. I need to hear you guys say, yes, sir, when we go to our set stance. Let's try it again, and this time, make sure you say, yes, sir, nice and loud and with confidence. Ready, feet together, and set. Yes, sir, that's much better. Now, let's bow to show respect. Did you guys know that showing respect is really just making a promise to treat others with kindness? And that's what our bow means. It's a promise from me to you that I'm going to treat you with kindness. And when you bow back, you're promising to me to treat me with kindness. So let's do it together, hands on our legs, and bow. Very nice. Tiny Champs, let's get started with our warm up today, and we're gonna start off by doing some jumping jacks. Now remember, when we do our jumping jacks, I wanna see a super tall mountain, as well as a super thin pencil. So let's do these together, and each time that we do one repetition of our jumping jacks, I want you to say one, sir, then two, sir, then three, sir. We're gonna do 10 jumping jacks together. Now we'll start in our pencil position, and then we'll go wide with our feet, go to our mountain, back to our pencil position, and say, one, sir. Very nice, let's do it again. Mountain, pencil, two, sir. Let's do it again. Mountain, pencil, three, sir. Now, let's go as fast as we can to finish off our 10 jumping jacks. Ready, and four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, Eight, sir. Nine, sir. And ten, sir. Very nice, students. Give yourself a pat on the back. Great job. Great job. Very good. Now, while we're in our pencil position, remember, this is often called our set stance. And our set stance teaches us the principle of self-control. So now that we've warmed up our bodies a little bit, let's warm up our minds. Because self-control is the ability to use your mind to tell your body what to do. All right, so we're gonna use our mind to tell our hands to stay flat and on our legs. We're gonna use our mind to tell our feet to stay together and not wiggle around. Whenever we're in our set stance, we practice being a statue. Now statues don't move around. Even if they're really itchy, they don't itch it. They stay strong in their set stance. Let's practice for 10 seconds. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose and breathe it out through your mouth. Strong set stance like a real martial artist. Three, two, one, and shake it out. Good, shake it out, shake it out. Very nice. Now that we've warmed up our minds with our self control and our bodies with our jumping jacks, let's get to our first technique of today. Our first technique is going to be our sidekick. Now, I want you guys to remember that whenever we do a martial arts technique, I want to hear you say kiai. Do you know why? Well, when we say ki, we're putting a powerful energy into our technique and we're showing confidence. Now, ki is the Chinese word for powerful energy. So whenever we do a technique, when we say ki, we're envisioning putting our powerful energy into that technique and showing confidence in that. So let's get started with our sidekick technique today. Let's start our sidekick technique by Picking our favorite leg. So I want you guys to tap on your leg and decide which one is going to be your favorite. This leg is going to be my favorite for our first practice today. Now, when we do our side kick, it's going to be a sideways technique. So let's all stand sideways together. I want you to put your favorite leg in front so that it's closest to me. Tap that front leg, and when I pull my knee up, I want to hear you guys say chamber. When I pull my knee up, I say, chamber. Very nice, but you know what? There's something missing with my chamber. I forgot to pull my hands up. 
So make sure that when you're practicing your chamber, you're also making sure that you're protecting yourself with your hands. So let's stand sideways, tap your favorite leg, pull it up and say chamber, hold it. All right, now put it back down. We gotta show expert level balance with our chamber. Let's do it again, ready? And chamber, hold it nice and strong. Very good, now put it down. One more time, let's practice our chamber, making sure we're keeping our hands up. All the way up and say chamber, now hold it as long as you can. Show me that martial arts balance. Very nice. Go ahead, put it back down, shake out your leg a little bit. Now that our chamber's warmed up, we have to remember how to throw our sidekick. Now the first and most important aspect is our other leg. We have to make sure that our heel points towards the target. Or, for today's practice, our heel points toward the screen. So as I pull my chamber up, I want to turn my foot that's still on the floor toward the camera, my heel facing toward the camera. Once it's here, I'm going to extend that side kick all the way out, bring it back to my chamber, and put it down. Well, remember, we have to have awesome balance, but for today's practice, if you need to hold on to a wall or a chair, you're more than welcome to. I want you to practice with me now. Either hold on to a chair or a wall, chamber that knee up, nice and strong, keeping your hand up, turn that heel as you throw your kick out, and then re-chamber it and put it down. Let me show you what it looks like with a chair. Keeping the chair right in front of me, I'm gonna stay sideways to the camera or sideways to the screen. Pulling my knee up, and then I rotate my foot so my heel faces, and I kick it out nice and strong, pulling it back up, and putting it down. I want you to practice 10 side kicks on each one of your legs before we move on to the next technique. students, we've practiced our 10 side kicks on one leg and our 10 side kicks on the other leg. Now we're going to do our side kicks together, but we're going to remember to ki and put our confidence and our powerful energy into our technique. So students, when I say go to your guard stance, I want to hear you say ki super loud like a fierce warrior martial artist. Are you ready? Oh, come on guys. Are you ready? Guard stance, ki very nice students, excellent ki. Now we're gonna start with our front leg side kick. So what I want you to do is I want you to chamber, kick it out and say ki, and then put it down, very nice. Now we're gonna switch our guard stance here, put the other leg in front, pull that front leg up, throw your side kick and say ki, very nice. Now let's switch back, front leg, hold it up and get that balance, ki, put it down. One more time, we switch our guard stance. We have our new front leg. We're gonna pull it up, we're gonna throw it out. Ki! Put it back down. Excellent job, tiny chip. Very nice, very nice. All right, tiny champions, lock it up. Let me hear you say, locked up, sir. And for all of you new students, our locked up position is when we sit crisscross applesauce. We take our hands, we'll put them on our knees, and once again, we show self-control by using our mind to tell our body what to do. So let's practice this together. I want all the students to stand back up, go to your set stand, stand up, and when I say lock it up, I want you to sit down as fast as you can, crisscross up south, put your hands on your knees and say, locked up, sir. Let's do this together, ready? Students, stand up. All right, now, lock it up. Hands on your knees, say, locked up, sir. Very good, now stay here, zip it nice and quiet because I have to talk to you about something very important, and it's called positive self-image. Now, positive self-image is our Black Belt Excellent theme this month, and I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what it means to have a positive self-image. And it goes back to what we talked about earlier about showing confidence. Now, when you have a positive self-image, it doesn't mean that you think you're the most amazing person in the world, it just means that you recognize your positive attributes. So what I wanna talk about is recognizing the positive attributes that you have. Now, everyone can always improve here or there, but let's talk about the good things that we already have going for ourselves. Now, I'm gonna name three things, and I want you to name three things, and I want you to talk to your parents about this at home. My favorite things about myself, or my three positive self-image attributes are that I like to work hard. That's my first one. I like to work hard. My second one is that I like to be kind. 
I like to show kindness to people by being respectful and nice to them. Sometimes that means I give people compliments or it goes back to working hard. I do my best to make sure that other people feel good about themselves. And the last, fifth, uh, the last positive attribute that I have to say about myself today is that I love martial arts. Martial arts encourages me to be my very best. And I like to consider that a positive attribute about myself. Now, what I want you to do, think about it hard. I want you to think of three things that you like about yourself. Three positive attributes. And I want you to talk to your parents about those three things. All right, Tiny Champions, that's it for today. So let's go back to our set stance so we can bow out. Everyone stand up. Let me hear you say, yes, sir. Now go to your set stance nice and strong. And let's finish out our lesson with a respectful bow. Ready? Back. We'll see you next time.